Published 1012s, the 15th of November 2017. Updated 1129s, the 15th of November 2017. Megan Bannister was found on the back seat of a Vauxhall Astra in Enderby, Leicestershire. A 16-year-old girl was left to on the back seat of a car by two men who gave her MDMA and strangled her before driving round, ringing escorts. A court heard. A level school girl, Megan Bannister, was found half covered by a coat, lying in the back of the Vauxhall Astra after the vehicle was involved in a crash near Enderby, Leicestershire. Jason Birder and Adam King, both 28, are accused of plying Megan with alcohol and drugs before sending humiliating Snapchat videos of her out of it and fitting. Birmingham Crown Court heard the pair were seen putting Megan's lifeless body into King's car around 8 a.m. on May 14. Birder had pretended to be 21 in order to convince chips shop worker Megan to meet with him on May 12, jurors were told. The pair met again the following night and in the early hours of the morning of May 14 picked up two grams of MDMA along with King, a DHL loader. The three took the drug at Birder's house, although a post-mortem revealed that Megan's blood toxicity level was ten times that of the defendants. The prosecutor told the court Megan could have been spiked, while post-mortem tests showed Birder's semen inside and on her chest, as well as unusually under King's fingernails. As they drove around the streets of Leicester, phone records showed that the pair phoned up escort services and searched busty and exotic brunette, lady lovely and warm as well sensual and hot lass on the web. Jason Birder left and Adam King right both 28, are accused of Meghan's manslaughter by gross negligence. Meghan had suffered no fatal injuries as a result of the collision. She had ten times the amount of MDMA in her system than either of the two men Megan, who had a part-time job and had dreamt of becoming a midwife, appeared lifeless with witnesses describing how her lips were blue. However, she had suffered no fatal injuries as a result of the collision. The jury was told today, jurors were told they would hear from one young girl who had previous dealings with Birda and who, when she saw the footage of Megan, told Birda you spiked her, like you spiked me. A pathologist concluded two potential causes of death were either strangulation or a drug overdose, however they were unable to pinpoint the precise mechanism. The A-level school girl was found half-covered by a coat, lying in the back of the car after the vehicle was involved in a crash Adam King left and Jay Bird are right are both on trial at Birmingham Crown Court Miranda Moore QC, opening the prosecution case, said Birder's mother spotted her son and King supporting a drunk Megan into the car. Asking her son is everything all right, he allegedly replied yeah I'm just taking her home. Megan's mother Carol was at the start of their trial at Birmingham Crown Court however, the prosecutor said they weren't, they could have taken her to Leicester Royal Infirmary, they could have phoned 999, or asked Mrs. Birder for her help. But they didnt. Jurors were told how phone analysis, ANPR roadside cameras, and shop receipts showed how instead of driving Megan to seek help, the men spent hours driving around until the crash. Leaving Megan in the car, they pulled up at a shop at 8.06 a.m., buying 15 pounds and 8 pence of lager and cigarettes. Miss Moore told the jury the shops outside CCTV showed King walking back to the Vauxhall as he appears to be looking at the back seat of the car. From 8.46 a.m., there were calls to escort working girls and websites, the prosecutor added, with listings such as busty, exotic brunette, and escort will blow your mind. Prosecutors claim Megan remained on the back seat of the car until at least 10.16 a.m. Phone analysis, ANPR roadside cameras, and shop receipts showed how instead of driving Megan to seek help, King left and Birder Wright spent hours driving around until the crash. The court heard Birder and King, who were arrested at the crash scene, had collective amnesia about what had happened to Megan. Although Birder left claimed King Wright spiked his beer in a statement after her death, Megan's mother Carol described her daughter as a beautiful, talented, loving daughter and sister, she added our hearts have been utterly broken by her death. The thought of life without Megan is impossible to imagine, and we cannot adequately express in words the sense of numbness and overwhelming grief we feel at her loss. Miss Moore told the court Megan Bannister was provided with alcohol and drugs by these two. She was also strangled at some point whilst in their company.
Megan's mother describes her as a beautiful, talented, loving daughter and sister. Pathologist will say that it is unclear which mechanism drugs a strangulation or a combination of both that led to the death. It's unclear because these two lied about it. These two men, having left Megan Bannister in a perilous state by drug supply and then strangulation, left her with no care. You will see how close to his house was the air. You will hear that there was no 999 call, and no call for assistance. There's more added Megan Bannister's phone was left behind at the house Mr. Birders. She did not get into the car willingly, her bra was also left behind in Mr. Birders' bedroom. At some stage, she was undressed. That's further evidence that she was spiked. If they all took the same drugs, the level of toxicity would be the same. She was in their presence on Mr. Birder's invitation. Mr. Birder was even filming her and Mr. King on Snapchat. No help was got for her, even if she was showing signs of ill health in the house. One witness believed that Megan was even fitting in the film, and sent a message back warning them. Not only did they not summon help but they actively avoided the very possibility of help. Following the crash, witnesses said the pair showed no concern for the motorcyclist and his pillion passenger. They even claimed that Megan is asleep when asked by a concerned onlooker. When one person approached to ask if they were okay, Birder simply replied yes, can I move my car? King even asked for a cigarette as he was handcuffed on suspicion of murder, jurors were told. Birder pictured and King claimed that Megan is asleep when asked by a concerned onlooker at the crash scene. Imsmore said one of the first people on the scene was a nurse. She immediately went to the motorcyclist and the pillion passenger. No one was aware of or had seen Megan Bannister. She was laid across the back seat, covered in coats. This witness noticed a pair of legs wearing black leggings on the back seat. At this point she can see a girl who we now know is Megan Bannister. She the witness then asked if she was okay. The pair of them said yeah, s-h-e-s asleep. The nurse noticed that she was already dead at the time she was taken out of the car. During the time that the witnesses were trying to help her, the defendants were seated in their car and showed no concern. Most people commented on how relaxed they seemed to be about the passers be trying to help her or the condition that she was in. In a police interview, Birder and King claimed they could not remember anything from taking drugs until the car crash. The court heard Birder's semen was also found on Megan's chest and inside her, suggesting they had either on the evening they met or the night of her death. Prosecutors have alleged Birder and King plied the teenager with alcohol and ecstasy in the early hours of May 14, hours before the crash happened. Pictured, police searching King's home Mrs. Moore said these two told Mrs. Birder that they were taking the unwell Megan home. They were not. They could have taken her minutes away to the Leicester Royal Infirmary and left her there even if they did not want to be identified. They could have phoned 999. They could have asked Mrs. Birder for help. But they did not. We say that these two were responsible for putting her in that situation, and they did nothing to help. Instead of doing so, they looked for working girls and brought booze and cigarettes and drank and smoke. Birder also denies supplying Class A drugs, possession and supply of MDMA, supplying cocaine and offering to supply MDMA. King also denies supplying Class A drugs. The trial, due to last three weeks, continues. Sorry, we are not currently accepting comments on this article.